Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. It's another new day. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And today, uh, Gary and I have got some errands to run. We're starting to get everything prepared for uh, this block work that we're going to be doing for the decking. In fact, Gary's already got his measuring <laughs> tape out. He's got some blocks over here. He's starting to set some things out and about. Um, well, that's basically a rough estimate. I mean, they're not exactly where it is. I mean, they're pretty close. But I'm just going to do four pillars. We're going to have to do each one of those seven high and cap it so yep. it matches that. Yeah. But yeah, that's going to be nice. Heck yeah. So you guys might be wondering, um, why are the blocks in the middle? Aren't they supposed to be over here? Like, what's going on with all this? Um, essentially, we want it to go right from the kicker and having a straight line. So yes, there is going to be some of the concrete that is not going to be um, with the covered roof and the covered patio. This gives the, the kids, you know, a space to ride the rollerblades or scooter or whatever else. Yeah. Um, as well as it gives me a space for my my grip. Yeah. To be able to be out from underneath the deck area where I don't want to when you're actually grilling, grilling. Or anything else like that. Correct. Yeah. But then when it's you know it's time to push it in, we could push it we in. Can and push have it, it be... in for storage. Yeah. And, yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be really nice, guys. We do have some things that we're gonna have to pick up. We gotta pick up some rebar. We gotta pick up some mortar. We gotta pick up some sand. Yeah. Um, we just we definitely need to do a supply run. Luckily for us, um, these 12-inch blocks that we're gonna be using to make the pillars go um, essentially as high as the kickers are now. Yep we had left over from when we were doing all of our block work. So Gary took an inventory just the other day of all of the materials that we still had left lying around. We didn't have enough of the eight inches, and, but we did have enough of the 12 inches. So he yep. was like, Mel, what do you think about doing the 12? And I was like, well, we got it. It's gonna look nice. It's not gonna look bad, it'll look good. So let's use what we got. It'll be perfect. Cause with the eights, I was gonna do, you know, two and two and two all the way up instead of having it very thin all the way up going and whatnot. But with 12 inches, it makes it wide enough as well as thick enough, you know, to mm -hmm. where it's gonna be a lot more stout and everything just as is with one block. Yeah. So it makes me happy. So we're gonna be getting a head start on this here really soon. I'm happy that um, we're taking the steps. I'm sure you guys are happy that we're taking the steps. We are gonna be working back on this cabin here really soon. Yeah. Um, and the first things first is going to be the decking so we can get the deck up and going. The deck up on top is going to be a covered deck, so it's gonna be attaching to the roof up there, um, which is another reason why we haven't roofed this thing yet. No, it's we gonna actually, give us two decks. Yeah, it will give covered. us. Yeah. Down here, as well as up there. That's right. So we actually be... talked about this pretty um, well on our live chat. If you guys missed it, we did yep. have a good live chat. We talked about it. Um, you guys can go back and watch the replay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So oh before we go, we got to get going. Uh, but before we do, we got to grab this tarp over here. Ooh. Well, this fence is working out super well for the dogs. Um, they're not being able to be too destructive on anything. No. Nope. Granted, they knocked over my bird waterer and stuff, but that's okay. You need to bring all that stuff, I feel like, down to the garden. Absolutely. I do plan to bring all that stuff down to the garden. In fact, um, this weekend, I, I plan to do some garden work. I got to rip out the summer garden since a lot of it's dead and um, yeah. gone to seed and stuff. I need to go down there and clean out that garden area, bring up some of that magic rabbit gold <laughs> and put it inside um, the garden beds to help like build up some nutrients. And I've got several little decorations that I want to put up and around for the garden too. I've been kind of collecting and I've been crafting. I was inspired by um, my good friend, Lissa. She uh, she just started a channel, Lissa with DD5. Um, Lissa's crafty meditation, I think. I'm sorry, Lissa, if I'm butchering it, but I'll put a, a tag over here by Gary's head. And she's been doing some crafts and been inspiring me. Um, and of course, Roxanne, Roxanne's always doing the crafts. And I'm like, I like crafting. So yeah, you got, you got <laughs> I started a little... doing some. You got a little crafty with those rocks that you were doing. Yeah, you like those rocks? That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
I'll show you all those rocks and stuff on another video um, because again, I'm trying, we're gonna do what we do today. I'll edit it out, you guys will see it. And then uh, this weekend later on, I'll, I'll get to working on that garden. So that's gonna be coming soon. And I'll show you guys what I've been working on. Yep. But for today, it's time for us to hit the dusty old trail. Mm -hmm. Let's go on a supply run. Biggie needs gas. Biggie needs gas. Biggie needs her air conditioner fixed. Biggie needs a new windshield. <laughs> Biggie needs that door fixed. Biggie needs some loving, but man. I'm waiting for that garage. Yeah, we've just been a little, a little stretched. I'm waiting for that garage. As soon as that garage comes, then I can park Biggie in there and work on her with a perfectly good, you know, climate controlled. Yeah. Spot. Gary did fix the air conditioner for Biggie last year, <coughs> and then essentially it broke again. That's it the control. Sucks. It's the, the AC compressor took a crap, and in doing so, it sort of burnt out everything else too. But it is what it is. Even with all her little quirks and problems, she's still a beast, and she's great for doing runs like today, where it's going to be about a billion pounds of stuff. So, and I'm happy, man. The weather, guys, has been changing. Um, the trees are starting to go a little bit more brown. Look at that tree. It's starting to get all red and it's colors. Heck yeah. Not only are the leaves starting to get the little bit of color change here and there, but the mornings are now finally starting to be nice and cool and the evenings are starting to cool off. And man, I can't wait for fall. It's beautiful. Yeah. such a cute place man it's very awesome. very very hometown small town vibe feel so our very first stop today is gonna have to be casey's because biggie is very thirsty yep. now the question of the day is <laughs> how much do you think she's gonna drink cash wise what's uh, your bet i was feeling it's gonna be like 100 110 115 110, 115. I was yep. guessing right around like 97. Are we gonna do prices right rules? Whoever is the closest without going over wins? 349 a gallon. Yeah, I'm definitely saying 115. 115. Okay, prices right rules. Uh, whoever is closest without going over wins. And Gary, what is your bid? 115. I am going to snake in. Well, then I say 110. Then oh. not go over. 110. 110? 110, yeah. Okay, now no cheating because you're going to pump the gas and I'm going to go in and get a Slurpees. Gary's clocking in at 110. <laughs> I'm going to say 104. 104. 104. All right, we'll see. All right. We'll see if. Uh, which one of us gets the closest? Closest without going over. Yeah, we're not exactly 2E, but we're, uh, we're tickling it. Tickling it. All right, well, I'm gonna go get myself and Gary a nice little cold treat. Yep. <laughs> cool off my throat. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot better. Still not 100%, still got that lingerer. But yeah. a slushy will help. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. 
Who doesn't love slushies? All right, no cheating. I won't. <laughs> All right, it's going. <laughs> Let's see. Ninety-four sixty-seven. The biggie estimated about eight point six six <laughs> miles to the gallon. Yeah, I like I like being able to fill up tiny and get thirty-two miles to the gallon. We only have to fill it up like once a month. All right, I got me and Gary some Slurpees. I got one of those Casey's pizzas because man, these are really good. All right, Gary, now no lying, no cheating. What was the damage? Only 94, we were both over. Oh, we both lost. 9467. Man, in my first original guess, I was actually should have went with your instincts there. Yeah, but I was trying not to let you win. <laughs> I was trying to, to not let you win, but no. It was, it, I had close to gallons or whatever. It was 27 gallons. Mm. So, but I did the math. We got average of 8.66 miles to the gallon. And that's not very good. <laughs> Come on, Biggie. <laughs> No, I can't be uh, too upset with her. <laughs> no. She's done as well. She's a great vehicle. You can't be too upset with it. No, you can't. All right, well, I'm going to scarf down my pizza. The next stop is what, some sand? Yeah, we got to get some sand. I don't want sand to get in my pizza, so I better no. get it while the game's good. I made your Slurpee a kamikaze. Thing, yeah. Gary likes it when I mix the red and the blue together. Me, I'll just take either red or blue. I just felt like blue today. But yeah, Slurpees are totally my jam. the sand heck yeah all right next we'll uh let's go hit up ace first because we only need one bag from them okay sounds good to me biggie's uh saying hey there's something in the back there but she like it she likes the word well now i'm not skidding everywhere <laughs> Biggie wants to go. She gets up to speed pretty quick. Portland cement. Portland cement. Yeah. I turn in. I turn into masonry cement, but <laughs> uh, just one bag. Okay. Okay. I'm hoping that that's all we'll need. You have our awards card. 
Uh, no, but I got my number. <laughs> it's the best price. Yeah, you guys are the best price for that. We've done our shopping around. So many times. You guys are great. Yeah. Awesome. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Thank you. That's one up. Well. That's double the price of what it was before. <laughs> yeah, the prices have definitely gone up since we were doing our block basement. <laughs> But even with the price increase on the item, guys, it's still cheaper than where we found it uh, other local places, right? Yeah, it was originally 12 bucks. Yeah, it's And like everybody else was like $28. And now, that scares me. If they're 23, that makes me wonder what it is everywhere else. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'm just saying, so. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well. That makes me happy. We got that. Uh, we've got to just drive back here into their backside. and They'll load it up for us. They'll load us up a bag. Yeah, and it's only one bag. It ain't too much. Not like last time we came and put those poor boys to work. <laughs> Man, they were like, what in the world? They're dying. They're like, oh. And I only bought six at a time last time because. Yeah, but they're like 90 they're pound expensive. bags. They're expensive. 120, I believe. Or. No, they're 90. I'm not positive. 90 pound bags. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. A 92 pounds. 92 pounds. Oh, is it open? Yep, that one's got a rip. Sorry about that, man. Yeah, as unpleasant as this is, the yeah. live are the worst. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hercules, 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 Hercules. Might be able to just throw that guy right in there. Where would you like it? Ooh, just throw it right on in there. Thank you, sir. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. God bless you. Awesome, thank you so much. Sweet. 92 pound bag, baby. 92 pounds. I just knew it was, I knew it was more than the other ones. Man, you gotta trust your mud monkey. You gotta I trust know. the mud monkey. I was, well, yeah, once you add all the water and all the sand and everything else, it's like, You know how many oh, bags I whoa. stared at and cut open and no, I know. had to mess with? I know. I'm just saying. All right, well, we're at one of our favorite local home centers, s and the folks here always treat us right. Absolutely love you guys, Doug, Joe, Billy Joe. You guys are the best. Heck yeah. So let's go in here and see what they can uh, holler at us for, see what kind of deal we can get. Hopefully they have everything we need. They usually do, but let's find out. Let's eat it. I wanna look at the, the gates with you as well. Yeah. While we're here. Might as well. Howdy ho. How's it going? Good, how are you doing, Good. sir? Good. Let's go, look, let's go look at those gates real quick. Oh, oh yeah. So I know where that's at. Everything else we can just get, pay for, get it, go grab it. Grab and get. Yeah. So here's some of the gates over here. All right, that's nice. 39 by 48. So it's a 39 inch gate by four foot tall. So this is the walking gates that I'm thinking, right? For in between everything. Your garden, the walkout type stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's this size. So and they've got three of them. How much are they? I'm not sure. No price on them. We can mm -hmm. find out in front. Um, and then this is a bifold. These are bifold doors. Those are too long. How about these ones right here, babe? These ones. We're looking. What's your price on those ones, honey? The four foot walkouts? I'll have to look at them. We're going to be picking up several things from you today. We're going to need some rebar. We're going to need some concrete. Um, yeah. What else are we getting? Rebar, concrete, and then I was going to look at some gates. Yeah, and we might. Well, I think more to Trevor and we're not getting them. And you're not getting yeah. them? You said I haven't gotten them yet? 
Dang. Oh, boy, boy. Are these already are these already sold? First oh, spoken for. God, they will have to. What's messed up on them? Maybe we can oh, the wire. The wire. They will have to when they got it. Yeah. Well, maybe we could work a deal on it or something, since they're not gonna. I mean, I'll, I'd still take it. Shoot. We could work something. A, I just uh, they, they come in by the way. Because this is the size, Gary. These two right here, are what we would need this for the for patio. The patio door size. And I know that little thing on the bottom. I mean, I'm sure we could fix that. That ain't oh, a big we deal. Fix that. How's it going? Billy Joe hard at work. <laughs> hard at work and hardly working, no? <laughs> Let, uh, let's get a price on this one. And maybe we can get a little discount on this one since we're gonna have to repair it. I mean, ask Doug, I see what it'll say. But I wouldn't mind picking that one up. No, I wouldn't mind either. Cause that would make life a lot easier taking the kids to the bus stop and stuff. What is that stuff. size, is that? Yeah, it's pretty five hot, foot. honey. I think that's five foot by four foot. We could get two of those, right? Mm -hmm. One at the top tier right there so you can walk down. And then we From can the animal them. area? I see what you're saying. From our top tier and then walk down to the garden and then open up another one. Well, if you garden. wanted to pick up those two and these two, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad at it. That's what I'm thinking. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we'll take them. Yep. Okay. Take both of those, and then we're gonna do um, ten sticks of the half inch by twenty foot rebar. Are you going bike park? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me drop that down. Uh, I need ten of the half inch by twenty foot rebar. Yeah. Or the number okay. four rebar. Okay. Um. And then I'm gonna need, let's do 12 bags of cement. Well, 80 pounds. Yeah. I should do it for now. <laughs> yeah, we got the mortar. We got mortar at that point, and then we've got. Got the mortar, got concrete, the sand, got, got the concrete, sand. got the rebar. The blocks are at home. And, now we have, and then we got the gates, so we can take care of the gates too. It's a win. Heck yeah, this is exciting. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. There you go. Good job, baby. Sweet. Yeah. We got 12 bags of concrete. Hey, what's going on, Not Todd? <laughs> yeah, <I'll help> <laughs> how y'all doing? Doing good, how are you, man? Just staying busy. Staying Enjoying busy. Enjoying this yeah. nice warm weather, but it's starting to cool down a little bit. That's nice. Yes. We were just talking yes. about that, actually. Like, man, I'm so <coughs> thankful that it's not in the hundreds anymore. Right? Are you getting some rebar? Yep. yep. I'm going to get and uh, 10 of the uh, half inch, okay. and then we got to cut them in half, too. Is that the 80 pounders right there? Is that the 80 pounder concrete? Well, man. Huh? I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, they got a different bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this, baby. You got this. How's it going, Billy Joe? Oh, it's low gear. Low gear today. I feel you. I feel you. I'm recovering from a cold, so I've been in low gear all week. Oh, yeah. Just concrete? Yeah, just concrete. I got... Ready mix here. Huh? This is ready mix here. This guy? Yeah, the concrete, sacred or whatever. 80 pounders. Yeah. I'm happy about that. 
Yeah, I got the sand for the mortar that I got. Oh, okay. I already got, I already got that done. But we got to do a little I bit more do block footings and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so I was like, well, since I got to do footings, oh, you can you can go ahead and die, spider. <laughs> spider. Yeah. All right, there's four. Perfect. I'm gonna need another eight. All the kids are loving school. They're very ha they're very excited to be uh, going back. Julia's the big girl on campus in sixth grade now. Oh, I I know it. It's going by so fast, isn't it? Ooh, buddy. Yeah, they're heavy. I Here, I don't one. think I could lift them up higher than this. Maybe I should just get out of your way. I'm trying to be helpful. I'll just stay out of your way, boys. I don't know if I could lift it up Four. that high. There's, what is that? Yeah. No. Nah. Y'all got this. Whew, careful, baby. Another four. 12 total. So there's one. Two. Yeah, the kiddos are loving school. They're doing real well. Um, getting good grades, hanging out with their friends, and they feel like that. Huh. Yeah. Being just being little country kids, you know, be just being 12. little country kids. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, any day, all day, all night. They went. We had a barbecue with some of our friends just recently, and our friends had their kids and our kids, and all the kids just go nuts, right? My friends bought some raw acreage and they got like a big mound of dirt. And so what did the kids do? Of course, they went up to the top of it, raked it all off, built themselves a little, this is our house. And then they were out getting these big old stones and building stepping way all the way. I was like, shoot, why are we doing all this work? We could just have you kids just build us a house. All right. Yeah, <laughs> where have y'all been? Yeah, where have you been? <laughs> exactly. Oh, that Billy Joe, he sure is a great guy. He is awesome. Yeah. We definitely love our SMW family. We love the Ace family too, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody out here in Boonville, man, we um, definitely try to support small business as much as possible. Well, it looks like all of our rebar got cut up by not Todd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> by not Todd. Yeah, not Todd did it. Whoop. Come on, Gary. My bad. Just letting people know. Well, watch out! I'm here. I'm backing out. All right. Oh. Dang, Gary. Work them muscles. All right. There's our sticks. All right, well, we are packed up and ready to go back to the 41.36. We got all the supplies that we need, at least that we are foreseeing that we're gonna need. Yeah. And I'm excited to uh, get those pillars going and start laying all of the foundation components for the back deck, the front deck, and the kids' playroom. Mm-hmm. Playhouse, treehouse. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, me too, man. I'm super stoked. It's gonna, it's gonna go together pretty, pretty quickly. I mean, I got a feeling. In a, in a way, right? I mean, it's gonna take some time, but I feel like we've got enough blocking experience at this point. It won't take us too long. No. I just, my biggest worry right now, to be honest with you, is that old Bessie, our uh, concrete mixer, will be up for the challenge because. We really worked her, and the last time that we were working her, she didn't sound so great. <laughs> kind of like me. <coughs> yeah, she was, uh, she was struggling. She was limping along. To say the least. Yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully, let's just hope and hope and hope that she'll make it. But, yeah. She'll, she'll, she'll pull through. 
I'll do my magic. I'll make sure she makes it through it at least. Yeah, that little that She'll little wait. Harbor Freight mixer is gonna build our whole dang house for us. Heck yes. And do some work for David and everybody else. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Either way, friends, we're going to uh, relax, enjoy this beautiful scenic ride home, and we'll meet you back on the 41.36. Oh yeah. Alrighty, well, we made it back home to the 41.36. We're not gonna be doing any unloading right now because it's kinda, kinda pointless. Kinda pointless, I mean, all of the stuff that we need is basically right in this area and we're gonna unload it to put it right there. Yeah, no. There's no, no. point for that. We're just gonna leave it all on the back of the truck for now. We'll make sure it's not gonna rain the next couple of days and if it is, then. Tarp it. Then we'll pull out and tarp and do all that fun stuff. Hey, it'll be nice having a gate right here though, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm gonna, I'll have to do that later though. Yeah, no, we're that's not doing gonna, that right now. That's gonna come after we do the pillars. Yeah. I just wanted to get them on hand here. So. Sweet. For now, that works pretty well. Ah, let's go inside. Yep. Well, boy, oh boy, it is good to be home. Back in the AC and back to being able to get a little bit of rest. I'm still not 100% better, still a little bit under the weather, but rest is best. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Now, before I uh, relax a little bit and before the kids come home and I started, gotta start the nighttime routine and rush of making dinner and everything, I actually wanted to share something with you guys that I was reading since I was under the weather. Um, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and get to making it right now. So first things first, let me gather up the materials and let you guys know. So this last week while I was lying in bed, not feeling very well, I started to uh, do a little bit of reading and a little bit of browsing. Upon doing so, I found an old timey method to help get rid of the crud that I'm dealing with right now. Now, although this is gonna take a little while to sit and ferment, it's not gonna help me out with the cold that I'm dealing with at this moment because hopefully I'll be gone with it by the time that um, this is actually ready to go. The next time that a crud comes around, this should help me out to uh, kick it before it kicks me. Now for this old timey flu remedy, all you really need is some raw honey and some garlic and a mason jar. You need three things and you need about a month's time and you got yourself an old timey uh, crud killer. Now again, I'm not a professional, I'm not a doctor. I'm just going off of something that I found on the internet that looked really interesting. I looked up the information behind it. It sounds like it's definitely going to work. Um, the honey has antibacterial, antimicrobial properties in it, and we all know how great garlic is for you. So without any further ado, I'm gonna start making this. We're gonna check back in on it in a month. And if you guys want a nice cold recipe to put on your pantry, so for that way when it gets nasty, you guys got something too, go ahead and make it right along with me. Let's get it. All right, friends, so first things first, you're gonna need yourself a nice mason jar with a lid. I just rinsed mine out so it's a little wet, but it's all good. You're gonna get yourself some fresh garlic and you're gonna need some raw, pure honey. Granted, I would much prefer to be having some Ridge Life honey, Tim, but this is just gonna have to do. So we're gonna take a few cloves of garlic. We're gonna peel off some of the skin from it. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to, oops, the innards of the garlic. Get all that skin off of it. That's essentially it, guys. You just need to peel this garlic off, get to that skin, Just like that. You see how nice that is? That's it. Now see that butt? We're gonna chop that butt off of it. Now I read that some people, they like to mince up their garlic, which you could do that as well. But it's, from what I understand, it's not necessary. This is the first time I've ever made this. I'm very interested to see how it works out for me. But you essentially take your garlic, shove it in the jar. And we're just gonna keep doing that until I have this jar about as full as I can muster with garlic.
All right, so I switched jars to a smaller jar because I do want to save some of my garlic for cooking later on this week. Uh, but now that I got everything all peeled and stuffed into this jar, it's nice and full. The only thing that's left to do is to take my honey and to also fill the jar with the honey. I'm gonna take a fork and kind of like mix it up a little bit so that way it can slide down there to the bottom. It's still got a few air holes in here that I gotta fill up. I'm waiting for the honey to kind of slide on down. All right, well, now that I got it filled up with the honey, I'm just gonna take my lid and I'm just gonna set it on top. I'm not going to use uh, the canning tightener on there because I'm gonna have to come over here and like burp it every single day. And if I have that on there, it could make it to where it'll be harder to get off. It could, it could burp naturally by itself without this tightened on there. The gases will kind of just release outside of there with it, uh, you know, just sitting on the top of the lid. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in a, um, a nice cool dark place, burp it once a day for about a month, and then in a month's time, I've got myself some nice medicine. Now what this is good for is if you feel like you got a cold coming on, um, essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a teaspoon, eat one of the cloves, have a little bit of honey on there with it, and it's got medicinal properties that are gonna get put some pep back in your step and make you feel better. At least that's what I've read so far. Again, first time trying it. I'm super excited to uh, get back to one of the old timey ways. Um, and I will check back in and I'll let you guys know how it works for me in about a month's time or so. But there's a lot of information about it on the internet. Um, if you guys have never heard about it before, just type in garlic honey medicine into Google. You'll find a plethora of different articles and stuff about it. I can't believe I'd never heard of it before. Um, but it is what it is. I'm excited to try this and um, yeah, get to feeling better just in time for the cold season. So that's about all I got for you guys for today. I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with us and being a part of our life. I'm gonna ask you guys to subscribe if you guys haven't yet subscribed. Make sure to drop us a comment, let us know what you guys think um, and stay tuned because we've got more videos coming down the pipe for y'all soon. So until then friends, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. We will catch you on the next one. Later, later.